Like a lot of real life horror films, the film within We Eat Our Own is designed to be like found footage. It's marketed as if it's cinema verite, as if a real crew of filmmakers and journalists had gone down into the rainforest and never returned, and only their footage was found. So in the book, the director, Ugo Voluto, is brought up on charges of eventually murder because he can't or won't produce his actors live for the court. And the special effects, if they are special effects, within the film are so convincing that no one can tell whether or not the deaths are real. As I learn more about the production of Cannibal Holocaust, which very loosely inspired the book, I started to read more on the region where the film, the actual film, took place. And I came to become very interested in questions of the violence in Colombia in particular, and in the border regions of Brazil and Peru as well. As I started the project and began to investigate the source material, I found myself writing more and more about Colombia and more and more about the revolutionary movements that have shaped it, especially in the era that I wanted to write about. And obviously, I've never been a guerrilla soldier. I've never lived in Colombia myself. Self. So what I chose to focus on was a very narrow portion of that experience inspired directly by specific individuals. I work at Left Bank Books in St. Louis, Missouri, which has been the most fabulous job for a writer that you can possibly imagine because you're eating and breathing and swimming in books at all times. And, you know, they have celebrated my book and allowed me, given me the space to write it in a way that very, very few other day jobs really possibly can. I can't say how supportive they've been and what a joy it's been to work with them as I continued the book.